Hello everyone out there, I am Winter Grey recording another video, another Ripple Effect video from server Ripple, uh, I don't know what, uh, version uh, X, the the renewed uh, version of server Ripple, how is everyone today? Uh, I was just d being distracted by, by those arrows there that I left to the spawn, yeah, it's a, a little bit a uh, secondary effect of a new uh, arrow ammunition I'm using so uh, I have been oh I gotta take that off have been uh, just working on maintenance stuff around the area and uh, I just went uh, a little in a little uh, end busting mission uh, roughly an hour perhaps a little bit more not not the big deal I was planning to come back with uh, a lot of loot uh, but turns out I found uh, I found uh, four end cities that weren't explored. Yeah, it's four. Four end cities that were, weren't explored very close, actually, to spawn. Uh, and, uh, well, not that close. It was like uh, 3,000 blocks uh, uh, away. But, yeah, I was looking to find those, and I have more things here. Uh, my main mission for that was shulker shells, because I am going to use a lot of them. Uh, I have been storing choker shells here. Let's see how much do I have. Uh, that's that's like almost three stacks of choker boxes. That's very cool, actually. And I have a few elytras. Oh no, there yeah, there were four. Yeah, four elytras here. Uh, I do have a little bit more. I had more elytras around here. Uh, let's put these ones here for now i'm going to give one of these elytras to to my friend each one her cat because she lost the one i gave her be before uh because of lag on the server so i'm going to put some mending and unbreaking in one of these i'm going to give one to her but i'm going to do it in i don't know i'm going to think about something creative uh to to give her that so it's not just it's not just going to be like a playing gift. Um, I, I may do some sort of a challenge. I don't know. I, I gotta think about that. So, so let's see anything I'm forgetting about this. Uh, oh, these ender chests, I guess they must be here. Yeah, they must be here. They were temporarily relocated. So I'm going to grab that and I guess I'm ready. So I have a, um, a few plans. Of stuff I want to work on now. Oh yeah, more gunpowder! I'm going to be using this. Uh, I have been using so much gunpowder lately, uh, crafting rockets. It's very fun, and I have a little bit of uh, thing to do with the rockets. I need to do some advertising, um, but I'm going to go check. I'm going to go check the the firework shop. Uh, just for to check for sales and I'm going to check uh, close by uh, on Marlowe's shop I guess it is his shop yep um, to get some green dye because uh, I need to do some farms okay this always happens on this same area I don't know what it is with that chunk over there but when this chunk loads all uh, I I just fr I just freeze oh yeah Perfect. I just freeze. There must be something on that place that uh, makes the whole game like freeze for a, for a moment. Uh, okay, so I'm going to the embassy area. So I am meeting you there. So here we are once again on this uh, on this pretty place. Uh, let's check what has been going on on this shop. We have sales. We have sales. Five diamonds of the Tijuana toilet crackers. Oh, it's so cool! Actually, I have um, I I have been using this these arrows, spectral arrows, because I guess they have so uh, such a cool effect. I'm going to grab that one, but I am also uh, going to use uh, these special rockets. Look at this! You can't even see what <laughs> what's on them on the screen. So I'm going to grab one of these. I'm going to load it into the crossbow and whatever thing uh, comes across me I'm going to shoot it with this it's going to be so fun all right uh, I'm just doing 
just going to keep that there and uh, all right so let's go to Marlo's shop and see if uh, he has some more green dye I have a, a shulker box down there full of green dye but that is that is exclusively to craft rockets with so I'm not going to use that that coloring material for that but I know Marlow sells dyes, and I, I don't know if he has more green in stock. Um, he still has his payment here. Come on. Come on, collect it. Does he have any green on stock? Oh, he has lime. Okay, I think last time I bottled the green, but lime is okay because I wanted that green color uh, partially to craft some lime. So it is um, one diamond, one stack, right? So I'm going to use these five diamonds to grab five stacks of lime dye, which I'm going to be using in crafting lime glass for some of the farms I will be working with uh, today um, at my farming area. So I want to make uh, some uh, reliable sugarcane farm, uh, melon farm, and um, and also pumpkin farms but first I'm going to do something else I guess uh, my uh, my shop needs a little bit of uh, publicity some advertising so I'm going to do a few of these um, advertising um, elements in some parts of the server uh, beginning on this area which is so cool Look at that, I love mazes. Mazes are so awesome. And uh, the mansion looks so cool. This area is just just beautiful. Uh, let's use a proper place uh, where we can set this up so it is activated and, um, and, and do some sort of a showcase. This mountain is not natural, right? Looks so cool. I wonder if there's something in, down here. Uh, okay, let's see, where would it, will it be? a proper place for this to be set up let's let's see I hope I hope this is visible uh, maybe on this little area around here will be cool it doesn't require much it's, it's just a tiny piece of um, oh hello cow <laughs> of uh, engineering so uh, this uh, seems proper, so I need some power source and would you know this white thing this creates some serious cool power So I'm going to be using this if I remember how to build this it should be something uh, on the lines of like this so we need this and uh, We need to be activating some uh, some we need some to get some power and we need uh, actually um, we, we need a, a, a person or, or a helper uh, that is going to to be doing the trick so I'm going to put a redstone uh, ore block there I'm going to put this this helper a little employee of mine let's give him a face there we go that's so cool and uh, we need a dispenser here no the dispenser doesn't go here that dispenser goes here did I do that correct I did it correct so I'm going to remove this from here there we go that is going to be doing the trick and I need some uh, things for support um, let's see I need something to activate that piston so I will be putting a daylight sensor and set it to night mode so this is only going to be active during the night of course because it's it is when it's, it, it's more visible um, it's going to get night so I'm going to need a bed somewhere here uh, let's grab my bed put it there and let's hope I don't get any interruptions uh, it's going to be really bad if I do uh, also I'm going to oh there we go night time is approaching so I'm going to be doing that so it doesn't look just like it is uh, suspended or flying. Did I turn that to day? I did. Okay. And also, I need to get some glass here so it looks a little bit uh, better. And uh, 
Can I sleep now? Yes, I can. It's better to sleep to sleep while I can. There we go. And that turns off. Great. So I am also going to put some uh, supports here and there so it doesn't look uh, just suspended. I need more stairs. Let's see, how is this looking now? Let's take a good look at it. That seems fine, right? Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of covering like this. There we go. And there. How's it looking? It's looking great. And I guess that's it. So, for the final... For the final... Um, Tosh here. Let's grab... Uh, let's use my ender chest. Uh, and let's grab some... Some cool fireworks. And let's load the dispenser. So I'm going to grab, uh, let's see, uh, some of this, some of this, some of this, three stacks. That we need, we'd need no more. Just three stacks will do the trick for this. It's not going to be like a uh, a load of them. It's going to be just right to have fun for. There we go for a moment and uh, of course we need a sign here because this is advertising right so the real advertising is going to come out at night when this is shooting and um, it's going to do a little bit of noise they're they're not not really noisy uh, they just have a, a, a few particles on them um, but it's going to be spectacular and shows what I can do with the uh, with a setup like this, this is the simple one, but we can do more complex. So uh, we're going to put some information here. Uh, enjoy the show. Free sample. Buy at bank. Great. And we're going to put it uh, in a red color because uh, red it's always more visible and of course let's sign this winter just to have uh, just just so anyone knows that I did this and uh, I own the shop and that is going to be uh, part of the plan to have my product uh, distributed as wide as possible so that is only going to work at night and it's going to randomly shoot fireworks i'm going to put this on uh, several other bases so we can have this advertising complete so i will do that and then then we proceed to the next part of this uh, of this video That is not heart beating. Something is beating. It's not a heart. Uh, but uh, I guess I have. Uh, I have come one step closer to discovering things. Let's let's go check. Wow, that noisy! <laughs> it 
Yes, I have to keep my volume a little low for that. So I build a thing. I build a cactus farm from Il Mango. Uh, it's a very, very effective farm. Uh, uh, there, there's for sure going to be a link down in the description of, the, of this video for that. It took me less than 10 minutes to build it. And I have been running it for about 10 minutes also. And uh, let's see what is the output for this. Oh god! That's a whole lot! That's a lot of cactus! That's a whole bunch of cactus! Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that is... <laughs> uh, Omni is online. Uh, uh, this is not supposed to be uh, lag intensive on the server. It is on the client. I am running 40 fra frames a second at this moment. I'm going to stop it. Okay, that's that's a little bit more peaceful and I have come back to 200 frames again. Wow, that was really noisy. Uh, I'm just going to put my volume up just... There we go, just to hear stuff around, like that slime that is over here. Should I do it? Should I destroy it with this? It's too much power. I'm going to save it for something else. So, okay, this is still... This has a backlog here. No. There's a hopper with a bunch of cactus. It must be the, the one below there. Um, wow, okay, I filled... I filled a double chest with the 10 minutes of this running. That's that's crazy. And uh, okay, I'm going to need. Uh, I don't have any empty shulker box on me. I'm going to go for a shulker box up there. I need a green shulker box to store cactus. Um, we're going to have to do some smelting, and uh, I don't have a really good smelter. So I guess I'm going to have to to make another another cut just to have that. Where do I have shulker boxes? I need a shulker box of sand so I can so I can smelt it for glass. I also need uh, some terracotta. This one is not full. I need green terracotta. Oh, I cannot open this here. Okay, that's not a lot actually. I have a lot of the other terracotta, but I need. I need the standard one so I can dye it. I might have to go mining. I don't know. I, I'm hoping I I don't have to go. Uh, I also need. Let's see. I have empty um, empty boxes somewhere here. Slime glowstone. I have empty boxes here. A couple. So uh, I am going to need uh, dirt. I don't know how much dirt I'm going to need, but it's not going to be a big deal. There must be a bunch of other dirt somewhere else. I can also use some grass, why not? I have so much grass because I always use a silk touch uh, shovel. Um, and I was going to need something else. Yes, the empty choker box for the cactus so I can make green. I don't need so much. I don't need that much cactus actually. Uh, because... I'm not going to die so many things. A bunch of glass, yes, but eight, eight uh, cactus green make a stack. It makes eight stacks. No, uh, a stack makes eight stacks. So if I want, it should be enough. Look at this. It is still backlogging. <laughs> oh, one one advice actually for everyone that is on a server struggling to take off. I discovered the secret. I know how to take off properly now without spending so many rockets. I have seen so many people that when trying to fly, they spam the right click to fire rockets and they f they, sh they fire so many rockets in order to take, take off and rockets just get wasted. That has been happening to me until now. The secret is spam your jump button. Don't spam your right click. Spam jump like this and every once in a while shoot a rocket. You're going to just shoot one Just keep spamming the jump button. You're going to take off. That's it Only one rocket shot and I spam the jump button and I and, and I take off. What are you doing there? 
Where is this guy with the pigs? What do you want to do with the pigs? This is a Fletcher, right? Yeah, it's a Fletcher. He got in here, he's never coming out. Alright, you're going to stay there with the pigs. At some point, it's going to be uh, hard for you. Uh, okay, so I need to distribute this uh, into the furnaces here. So that's a bunch of sand. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just going to put stuff here. I don't know how much fuel I have in there. Uh, I may have to make more charcoals or just go to the place farms and um, and get a bunch of place rods to smell. There's another villager up there. Yeah, they have been roaming around this area since I set those guys free. Um, so just they're just going to be around here. Okay, so that's what I, I was talking about. I don't have a super smelter or anything. I just have a slow furnace smelting. This is going nowhere. So I'm just going to put this shulker box here so it gets filled. And uh, then I'm going to just put the stuff up here. And I'm just going to do the old waiting for everything to smell. There we go. It's, it's eventually going to go down. I also need to smelt. I'm not going to smelt dirt. But I'm going to need to smelt cactus. Luckily, I don't need to smelt all of this. A three or four stacks will be enough. So I'm just going to use the regular furnace in there. Then I'm going to paint some terracotta. Maybe I'm going to paint eight stacks with green. And I'm going to smelt a couple of them. Uh, to get prepared. Because what I really want to build here. There's actually a prototype of this. Of the machine I was building uh, with my partners there. Uh, what I want to build is a um, sugarcane farm and a pumpkin farm. Uh, I'm not going to use uh, already done designs uh, there. I guess I'm going to try to come up with whatever I can. Not necessarily is going to be efficient or or super producing. Uh, I, have, I already have a bunch of sugarcane here that I have been manually farming. I'm going to get rid of all this area. I'm going to clear it up. And I'm going to build those farms maybe on this ravine all the way down there. I'm going to... I guess I'm going to work with a couple of levels on camera and then build the rest of camera. I don't know. I'll decide that later. But first I need to get my materials ready. I need to get all that smelted and I also need to check if I have enough redstone stuff for that i may have to craft uh, a bit more pistons and stuff let's see i need more sticky pistons for sure more pistons i will need a lot a lot more of servers yes i'm going to have to be crafting some redstone materials for this so i'll be getting ready and uh, i'll bring you back once i have the materials and see what i can build in the meantime i'm just going to sit here and wait for that to smelt. It's going to be a long wait. I'm done and smelting is done also. The sun is rising on on the farming area and uh, let me tell you from this day on this area is changing. This is going to start changing. It's going to have a new shape uh, very soon. I'm starting with building these, uh, these couple of farms here that are going to be rather big. Um, I'm going to try to finish them for this episode. I don't know, but I'm going to start right now to building the first, the first layers of it. Um, so I waited, I waited enough to have everything the smelted. I'm not going to need all of this green dye. This is, this is a lot. Uh, I can't believe how many cactus I can produce with that machine there I clear an area where I'm going to put the sugarcane farm here I don't know let's see I'm going to I'm not going to build it up to the sky I'm, I'm going to build it up to here to this level and I'm going to try to cover it in some way let's go down there and check the area 
like this. So I'm going to be using observers and a water stream that comes down for 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 this. I left this hole here intentionally. I also am going to need some some more blocks. Uh, so let's grab a few. Okay, let's grab some of the white goodness and some bricks like this. Good thing I have them really close. Oh, oh, I can't jump up. There we go. I'm going to cover this. I left this here intentionally so I could check how close I was to the uh, to to the bottom area there because I don't want to to go there I, I don't want to make a hole there and fall down so um, I want the level to be here oh I gotta make sure not to break stuff with this haste uh, I should block the beacon uh, I need precision for this this is the reason I have this block here so I could just do this there we go so the beacon is blocked I'm not going to have haste anymore and that's going to be good uh, all right so check spaces and let's make like the how, how this is going to work so I will be needing water falling down need to block this I guess the water is going to be there's going to be glass there's going to be glass here uh, a water stream that's that is going to be coming down so sugar cane will be planted here and uh, if water is going to be streaming here uh, this is where the sugar cane is going to be sitting that means there's going to be like a block here there's going to be uh, slime blocks here oh where's the guy uh, there's still dark areas there you know what you're going to get blasted there you go <laughs> that's so cool okay putting a normal arrow well a spectral arrow there I need to make uh, I need to work something out with that it's going to be annoying maybe block it out with glass I don't know I'll, I'll check it out uh, okay, so there's going to be a slime block here that is going to be pushing the sugar cane and uh, There is also This is going to be covered like that right And it's going to be another one stack up there. So there's going to be another uh, there needs to be uh, There needs to be an immovable or slippery block there uh, Then dirt above and that's going to be the, the stack. So for that, let's see, I need, uh, it's got to be five, 11 blocks. So the piston can push them without a problem. I guess a piston can push up to 12 blocks. Let's measure, let's measure the size for this. Uh, I'm going to come to this area. So if there's going to be glass here, for example, maybe I should leave another space and glass could be here so I will have to there, it must be terracotta here so it it's uh, it's gotta be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven all right so uh, this this is going to be pushed by a piston here and the piston is going to be power by an observer block that is going to be observer a water block that is going to be falling here but let's center this uh, one two three four five so everything is going to be here right everything is going to be here one two three four five one two three four five there we go and uh, it's going to be the same way on the other side did I not calculate the correct space I may have not okay let's work with it um, 
Uh, so there's going to be another observer and a piston here. And the piston is going to be pushing slime blocks here. And slime blocks there. Yeah, this is going to be way bigger than I thought. Uh, and uh, I'm going to need more space on this area. Hmm. And I'm going to be... It's going to be going up. Okay, let me do the following. Uh, I'm going to check and clear more space here. Okay, let's build this side. Let's build this side first. Uh, all right, so there's going to be definitely dirt here Where the sugar cane is going to be uh, planting planted and uh, And the terracotta blocks are going to be placed here and this is going to be slimes, okay Okay, let's see how much terracotta has been smelted for that, I'm just going to put a block here, and get some of this glazed terracotta. The thing is uh, that uh, slime blocks can't push this uh, thing here, and, and that is the reason I like to use it. Uh, I need some sticky pistons and slime blocks. And the piston is going to be here, and it's going to be pushing some slime blocks, like this. This is also going to be uh, good to know where I should put the water. Um, Alright, so slime blocks are here, that means that there must be terracotta. Actually, since this is directional, I'm going to place it like this. It's not doesn't matter because I'm not going after any uh, sort of pattern. Um, okay, never mind. And uh, then I think that row isn't needed, is it? There we go. So with this here now. Uh, this should be able to work. So I need to have water falling uh, from here. Okay, if I need to have water running here, uh, that that let uh, with that I can know how high I need to make this. So uh, I guess I'm going to pillar up uh, from here. I'm just going to use these blocks for now. Yes, I'm going to try to build all of this up to here. I don't want to go any further because I don't want to mess with those floating bushes there. I should go a couple of blocks down, perhaps. One more here. Yeah, this will be good. Uh, so I'm going to be... I'm going to do like a double block here. So there needs to be water running on this area here water running down and it's going to be catch down there it's going to fall here and uh, this is going to be running that way so there's going to be like uh, this stop this to stop it and water will come here and flow the sugar cane to a collection area uh, so for now I'm just going to uh, block this here like that but I need a timer that is going to be dropping a drop dropping a drop yeah that's I guess that that is the correct uh, it's going to be dropping some uh, water here that is going to be um, that is going to be updating updating observers a couple of times uh, can I get up there again I need more blocks like this so I'm going to have um, 
observers. If I'm placing observers at this moment, it's going to be um, triggering those. They, it has to be facing the other way, like this. And then I'm just going to remove this one from here, so it, it's not ca causing updates. And nope, that is the wrong placement. Okay, that's a clock. All right. So the, those observers are going to be uh, updating and uh, making some stuff happening. But for that, I need to build a contraption out there. Ooh, so many lag spikes I'm having. I am having today. Uh, yeah, something is crazy. So uh, how am I going to do this? There needs to be a, like another terracotta here. And there needs to be... Um, another one here and I'm just going to place dirt on these areas so to have sugarcane here and the important thing is to have glass in front here so the sugarcane is not like uh, bouncing all the way here and falling off I want the sugarcane to go f down there so this should be looseless I guess this should be looseless all right, so let's go up there and build the... Uh, I'm going to take my redstone, the black pack, and this. I'm going to leave all of these materials down here. Um, yeah, I'm going to build build the, uh, the, the, the water drop contraption. So I'm going to make a hole here so the water falls here and doesn't spread everywhere and also I guess the collection area is going to be somewhere somewhere here all right so here we are so the water must be dropping from here I think this one I want to I want to build it like this all right so I'm going to be using a dispenser dropping the water down um, I'm going to grab some dispensers here the dispenser should be placed here facing down I guess one block above right like that and uh, I'll remove these ones from here so good that I blocked the haste it will be annoying to 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 have haste at this point can I go up there all oh, this is going to be removed all right so the dispenser is going to be there that means it has to be power two times with some sort of delay so I will be having I will ha be having a repeater here and a couple of repeaters here. I could have just for the sake of uh, um, having, you know what? The power blocks. The power blocks should be power blocks like this. So it is properly powered, right? So uh, I need some of these. Uh, redstone and um, just to check it it's going to work like this all right that seems fine but I'm just going to give it a little bit more length like that so that means I need some sort of um, ooh, right I need some uh, a short pulse here and uh, I'm going to make the test again okay that's fine oh that was too short bring it back there we go that's going to be working great and I just need to make a hopper timer 
uh, here to to make this work on a on a on a timer. Okay, all right. So I'm going to try to make to make one using the um, less space. Let's see. Let's see if this works. So I need some hoppers. Here are the hoppers. Oh, don't break that. Like that. And they're going to be making some comparators facing into blocks. Like this and this. Do I have stuff coming here? No, and uh, putting some dust here, some blocks on top, no, that's not blocks, that's some uh, pistons, like this, a redstone block, and let's put um, Let's keep something there to be passing. I should be using. Um, let's use a stack of uh, redstone dust. There we go. So that should be cycling and working perfectly. So the thing is that stuff can fall in there. I'm going to have to block it with glass or something. Uh, okay, I'm going to do that just to check. Alright, that seems to be working fine. I just need to put the repeater here so all of this is starts sticking. At this moment we can test this. So I'm going to grab a bucket of water and I'm going to put it on this dispenser. So this is going to start dispensing water down there. Now I can remove uh, the things I used to pillar. Let's see how it works. Let's wait for for a stream of water to fall down. There we go. Okay, that's too short actually. I need it to be longer, so I'm going to extend this for two more ticks. And um Let's wait for it again. All right. Oh no. Is that server lag? Uh That's not enough. Do I have to give more text to this? Oh, this is okay. That shouldn't be like this. Hmm, I wonder. I'm going to make this shorter. Just to just to be able to test faster. Should be okay on the first one. Alright, so that's fine, but I forgot that these should be enclosed like that. So to prevent water from spreading like that, because that could be uh, a little bit uh, causing problems. Can I put this here? So I'm going to, to, to check it one more time. To be sure of how this is working. Okay, that's fine. So the water is going down there. And it's going to activate those. It's going to be to activate those um, observers twice. So it should do that. Let's see. Okay, it activates them twice. And that is what I need uh, to be double activation. Uh, on those uh, observers because when I put this uh, they're go the, the slime blocks are going to be left here for a brief moment then retracted uh, so let's check that out there it comes there comes the water and let's see how these uh, slime blocks behave and this is going to be activating a bunch of observers that are going to be towered up up to that position there there it goes, it works great. 
Uh, all right, now I'm going to try to finish this. Okay, I think I have everything sorted to keep working down there. Uh, I'm going to grab... Can I do this? Yes, I can. <laughs> it doesn't mess the, the water. Uh, these villagers are going to go down. Yeah, they're going to go down there. I'm going to relocate them uh, and uh, and do something with them with something else with them later. Uh, all right. So for now, oh yes, uh, I am going to put some water here. All right, so that is working fine. And here, can I grab then this one? No, it needs to be yeah. The reason I made that down there is to be able to do this so I can just put the water easy here so let's grab water from here and fill up all of this area like this and we should be good to go actually I'm just going to do that Put the buckets in there so I can have more space to work then break all of this and it's going to be falling off hopefully not breaking any of the things I have been making working with here all right so all of this is going to be a curtain of water that is going to be so I can plant the sugar cane which I don't have on me and the sugar cane is going to be flushed down there. All right, so that, that is the that is the basic principle. And also, I'm going to go with uh, lime glass for whole the whole of this build is going to be lime glass. Not the green glass. I'm going to use it for the uh, pumpkin melons. That it's going to be for <laughs> another episode, I guess, because this one is taking so long. I don't know. Uh, all right, so. That's 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 now should be functional. I, I I mean I have no collection, but that should be working. Uh, if I plant sugar cane here, if it grows, it's going to be harvested, and uh, it's going to work. It's slowly coming down and reaching this point, and bam. And sugar cane is just going to come flowing down here. So I can collect it. Oh, you know what? It's not gonna be coming down here because I didn't cover. I didn't cover all of the. It, it was just a spat down uh, uh, up here. So that is important. I need to have this. I need to have this built. Here. That one also. Oh. Like that. Now it should be working. I need to cover that also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the test. Let's see if we can come here. Now it should be working. Let's see another one. I need another water stream to come down. And of course I'm going to use power box all all in the floor here so it, it infuses the sugar cane when being harvested can I have more water please there it comes slowly coming down 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 block by block with the water is and there we go harvested yes we have sugar cane being pushed to here and yeah i just need to collect it and we're done all right so this is how the machine is going to be working uh i'm going to need to make more space on this wall here and uh, I'm going to complete this and hopefully bring you back for a final uh, look at this farm with the collection working and all of that. So this is going to be a long cut for me 
and I'll see you back. And it's done. Totally done. There you go. <laughs> it took me a little bit of time uh, and uh, I ran out of resources at some point. There we go. Water falling down, activating the pistons. Uh, water falling down and there we go to the bottom. Uh, yeah, it, it actually took me uh, one more day uh, because I ran out of... First, I ran out of glass. So I had to go on more sand mining and uh, smelting and dying and uh, then I used it up all of it and I need to mine more sand now and there seems to be not enough deserts unless I am using red sand to smelt which I don't know feels weird but I may so this is the the etho clock I made uh, to uh, just uh, be throwing water down I'm using power blocks whatever I can use power blocks uh, I guess it shoots uh, a water drop every five minutes or something, or maybe less, a, a little bit faster. I encased everything on glass, I just left a hole for the water to fall down there, and uh, this could be actually higher, but I didn't want to touch those bushes there, and uh, I may do that, put them higher. Um, but this is how it works. Let's fly down here. You can see uh, water falls down, activates all the observers, all the pistons, all the power blocks, and everything comes down here. And the sugar cane gets washed out to those uh, hopper lines. I don't know if I could replace them later with some water current or anything and stuff. Wow, why is that compoder here? That's so weird. Why will it be compoder? Stuff can spawn in there? Okay, some sugar cane is falling down. Uh, I I just uh, I'm just intrigued by that by that gunpowder spawn in that place. Uh, maybe a creeper drowned here? I don't know, but uh, that's interesting. Perhaps yeah, I know I know mobs can spawn within uh, within sugar cane, so there's if there's dark spots here, uh, a mob can spawn in the in that sugar cane there and be pushed to the water and will drown. If it's a zombie, it will turn into a drown. If it's a creeper, it's going to drown and die. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm going to sort that out. Maybe I'll put some light sources up uh, in a line just to have some lighting in there and prevent that from happening. Uh, but um, production is fine, not the highest, but uh, this was generated just in the time I, I spent a while building this uh, and it wasn't a hundred percent. I measure and every time a drop falls down there it produces like in average from uh, 12 to 15 pieces of uh, sugar cane. So it's decent. Uh, if I made it make this higher it could have like a bigger output perhaps uh, I would think about that but uh, for now I guess this is going to be enough for me for the paper I'm going to be using uh, but yeah okay so this is this is what I came up with uh, and uh, it's farming sugarcane and I guess it's going to be all for today because it took me it took me a uh, few days to to do all of this uh, here on this area but next time I will be working uh, on um, on pumpkins and melons because I, I want I want to trade with the villagers and get a lot of emeralds remember I still need mending I have mending on, on all my stuff at the moment but I want mending for more stuff so it'll be interesting to see uh, what else I, I can do for that for that and as I said before uh, this place is going to change for the next episode so I'm going to get working on it and uh, and do some cool building on this area to have uh, a proper landscape made and those villagers have to be relocated down uh, so thank you for watching everyone and I hope to see you on the next episode goodbye may you all be well